Well, right now, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is meeting with top Israeli officials in Tel Aviv, working to get a ceasefire deal struck between Israel and Hamas. The focus of my visit is intensely on getting the hostages back, getting the ceasefire done. It is time for everyone to get to yes and to not look for any excuses to say no. Blinken warns that this latest effort is likely the best and possibly last opportunity for both sides to come to an agreement. His remarks come following a suicide bombing in Tel Aviv that killed only the bomber. Hamas and another Palestinian group have claimed responsibility for that failed attack. News Nation's Alina Shirazi has been following these developments, joins us live now from the White House. So, Alina, uh, what's the very latest on negotiations now? Hey there, Kelly. Well, we know the Secretary of State met with Israeli leaders today. We know Blinken is emphasizing that this is possibly their last opportunity to really make peace in the Middle East and the United States to strike this deal as well as free those hostages. We know Blinken hopes that his meeting with Israel's president as well as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu could help to a deal being reached. We know earlier today the State Department spokesperson put out a statement saying, I want to read this for you here, quote, Secretary of State Antony Blinken met today with Israeli President Isaac Herzog in Tel Aviv. The secretary reaffirmed the United States' ironclad commitment to Israel's security and efforts to de-escalate tensions in the region. The secretary reiterated the urgent need to finalize the ceasefire agreement that would release the hostages, allow a surge of humanitarian assistance, and create the conditions for broader regional stability. We know this recent visit to Israel is Blinken's ninth trip since the war first started. What's left now, though, to discuss, Kelly, for a ceasefire deal are whether Israeli forces will withdraw from Gaza as well as the status of hostages that remain in Hamas's custody. But here's a little bit from the Secretary of State on the need for a deal as soon as possible from earlier. It is time for it to get done. Uh, it's also time to make sure that no one takes any steps that could derail this process. Uh, and so we're working to make sure that there is no escalation, uh, that there are no provocations, uh, that there are no actions that in any way could move us away from getting this deal over the line uh, or, for that matter, escalating the conflict uh, to other places and to greater intensity. And we know that leaders from Egypt and Qatar are also continuing their efforts to help the negotiation process as well here, Kelly. All right. So, Alina, what about Iran's role in some of this? Some of their proxy leaders have been killed, as you know. Uh, is that still in play here? Yeah, I mean, they have been essentially threatening payback for quite some time. We did hear from a spokesperson from the foreign ministry actually uh, just a few hours ago, kind of putting a timeline on all of this. Uh, here it is what he said translated into English, quote, we've told our friends that we are not seeking escalation in the region and we support efforts for establishing a ceasefire. Meanwhile, we emphasize our given rights to punish the aggressor and establishing deterrence against a terrorist regime we will use this right at the appropriate time. So obviously, Kelly, this adds a lot more urgency to getting a ceasefire negotiation deal and releasing those hostages as well. We know Iran uh, is notorious really for pilot lighting negotiations for pilot lighting threats. So we know that they've made a few in the past, whether or not this is actually going to come to fruition, we will see. But again, adding another layer of urgency here to get this across the finish line for U.S. leaders, Kelly. Yeah, certainly does. All right, Alina, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.